Welcome back, everyone, and happy holidays. This is Tina, and today I'm going to show you guys the last-minute hairstyles that, that are so popular around this time of the year, including how I've been curling my hair to make my hair look more voluminous around my face. It's different techniques, so be sure to keep on watching. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Before we start curling our hair, make sure you apply some heat protectant or oil to protect your hair. And you want to do this step because you want to make your hair shinier. And heat protectant and oils tend to make your hair shinier after you curl it. I'm using the one here by Launch. I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long because I want to include a couple of other hairstyles with this video. So I want to let you guys know the bottom as well as the back section is going to be exactly the same way that everyone is curling their hair right now, which is alternating directions. So I'm going to start off by curling the bottom away from the face. And the curling iron size you want to use for this method is one and a quarter inch. And the beautiful curling iron you're seeing me use here is by Lange. I've had this for couple of weeks now because they sent it to me in a PR package and I, let me tell you guys something when I opened the package I literally squealed because the packaging and the curling iron and the whole set is just so beautiful and girly I'm gonna show you guys the entire set in a minute but I think this is a limited edition holiday set next section is gonna be right below the eyebrow so the front to the back of your ear you're gonna pull this section straight out and curl it towards your face so it's important that you don't pull this hair down before you curl it. So we're doing the complete opposite of what everyone is doing. And it's important that you don't grab the top section as well because if you curl the top section towards the face, what will end up happening is you will end up with a vintage, like a Marilyn Monroe hairstyle and that's not what we're going for. So it's just right below your eyebrow is where you're gonna start curling. And then leave out the ends and then clip it up for a few seconds or hold it in your hands for about 10 seconds before releasing it. And then I couldn't believe it, but my camera shut off at this important part and I didn't catch it in time. So what I ended up doing is recurling the part that I already curled on one side and then curling the back piece. What I'm gonna show you guys now, even though you're not supposed to, just so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? But what I want you guys to notice is that I'm holding the curling iron parallel to the floor. I'm not holding it down like everyone's doing. And I'm gonna curl the hair up and then Leave out the ends and then you can either clip this up or hold it in your hands for 10 seconds. And the reason why I'm holding the curling iron parallel to the floor is because when you release the curl, it creates more resistance because your hair has to twist more to create that curl. So after curling your hair away from your face, just one section by the way, the next section should be towards the face. Okay, so last section. For this piece, I suggest you curl everything away from your face using the traditional method. beautiful my curls are. This curling iron produces the most even curls ever. So okay so now I'm gonna apply some argan oil. Tiny drop of this it is so concentrated and here's what my hair looks like in about 10 minutes and then throughout the day it's gonna loosen up to become big fluffy waves. For this next hairstyle or hair hack I'm gonna show you guys a tip or trick to make your own hairstyle look more fancier by creating more volume. You're gonna need some Velcro rollers, like the smaller one. Don't get the big one. Smaller one surprisingly works better. Um, you're gonna need something to heat your hair with. So watch me here. You have to over direct the hair to the opposite side of what you want your hair to go. And then apply the curling iron on the hair for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then you're going to take the Velcro roller twist it so that it grabs the hair and then set it. Okay, so have you guys understood that? So you're gonna start this by parting your hair, clipping away one side, and then starting from the bottom towards the part so that, you know, your hair doesn't get in the way. 
But the most important part about this hack or tip is that you have to over direct your hair while heating or curling your hair with a Velcro roller. All right, so let me show you guys what's in this gift set because for the price of one expensive curling iron, you get all of this. And because you're my subscriber, they're gonna give you up to 70% off. So you're gonna get even more of a discount by using my link. The link is not an affiliate link. They're just doing it for my subscribers. So be sure to go check this out. If you've been looking for a amazing set of hair tools, this is incredible, you guys. Not just because it creates the most beautiful, gorgeous curls, but because it is high-end feeling and looking. This is not a cheapy brand. So this is what it comes with. It comes with the interchangeable wand, 25 millimeter and a 32 millimeter wand, as well as a flat iron. And lastly, it comes with a full-size blow dryer. Anything the more expensive brands offer, this set will also have, like the blow dryer will shoot out ionic air, which dries your hair faster than hot air. But I gotta tell you guys, my favorite part about the entire set after using it for a while is the fact that the pink part is made out of this rubberized thing so it's not very slippery I feel very confident in using it because it's not so you know what I'm talking about it's not plastic it's just like this like a squishy rubberized thing it feels really amazing in your hands next I'm gonna show you guys how to do a quick half up style so you're gonna take your crown and then do a French braid French braid is when you take the side sections over the middle section And then when you get to the back, you're gonna twist it into a bun shape and pin it in place. And lastly, and this is important you guys, you have to tease the hair right below the part to first of all, to get rid of that ugly parting line, especially if you have dark hair, and also to make your hair look fluffier. Next, I'm gonna show you guys a very simple and very common bardo half up style. So you're gonna tease your crown, like tease the heck out of it, and then grab that piece twist it once and then pin it in the back. And because it's the holiday season, you can use a hair bow. You can also use like one of those pearl clips. I mean, this hairstyle, although it's so simple, can actually look very fancy depending on what kind of hair pins you decide to use. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn this very simple half up style into a fancy, elegant low ponytail for the holidays. You're gonna smooth the hair back into a low ponytail and then tie it with an elastic band and then pull out the crown to make it even more voluminous. When your hair is voluminous enough, you're going to hairspray it. When the hairspray is dry, you're gonna remove the bobby pin used in the half up version and fluff up the ponytail and that's pretty much it. Okay, and that's that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys here. And a big thank you to Launch for the visual set. I really enjoyed using it. Be sure to go check it out, you guys. I'll put the link down below for you guys. And I'll see you guys again next Saturday. I love you guys. Happy holidays. Bye, guys. Santa's busy saying ho ho ho